Welcome to this new module on subprojects. Subprojects are an interesting function that you find in MS Project. It's when you want to split a bit the, the parts of a project and it becomes more understandable. Behind me, I have here up a project where I built a mobile workbench. And that mobile workbench was built with modularity in mind. And you see, I have created two different modules, which the first one is a flipping top where we can install different kinds of machines. And I have as a third module or second module, a guide to, to guide a circular saw on my workbench. So I used that function and you see here, just behind me, we have the GAN chart, but that GAN chart is coming from sub-projects. And in the table also, you will see that we have different sub-projects. It's Christian from Vision 6D, and we are going to look how to create this right now. This project will be treated in two parts. In the first one, we are going to look how to create some projects, how to insert tasks, how to delay them. So this is the basic functions. In the second video, the second part, we are going to look at more complex projects and we also look at the possibility to give an overview between different projects. Like that, we have an helicopter view of what's happening into several projects at the same time. I have three files at my disposal to show this example. The master project one, which is the one currently behind me. I have a file for the module one and a second file for the module two. Each file is uh, quite simple. Uh, it entails the, the same steps. It's based on uh, research followed by concept and design. Uh, acquisition of material, build or construction, then a test, then a review, which is the review of the, the phase. And for each module, we will repeat this. The schedule of the project is simple. We build first a structure, which is the basic of the mobile workbench. And then we have different phases for each module that we want to build. The file for the first module, which is the rotating uh, top, which will enable us to put different tools on this workbench and adapt it, is composed, you will see, the proceeding is exactly the same. We do some research, design, build the module, test the module, and then we review it and we make proposition for continuation and maybe add a module. So, this is all cascaded, is a waterfall principle, but this is here just to simplify the tutorial. I'm now going to insert that file into the major project. So for this, I'm going to take the master project here and I position myself because I want this module to be part of phase two. So I go on the line after phase Two, and I'm going up into project and into project there is a button which allows us to add a sub project so I do that and it is opening me the Explorer and with the Explorer I can find here my file module 1 rotating top and I can insert it we have here the possibility to say that we want to insert it read-only in the sense that in the master file you cannot make any changes. In our case, I'll say insert it with full rights for modifications. The first thing we see in the information column is a new icon we have here, which shows us that we are linking our current file to an external file. 
we have the task 9, which is the module 1 rotating top, which comes after phase 2, but in fact it is part of phase 3. For this, I'm going to ident it within the phase 2. And now we really have a phase 2, which contains module 1 rotating top. We see here that phase two is about 25 days and will start the 2nd of April and finish by the 7th of May. This information is the one that is coming from the external file. It's not me who added that information. On the Gantt chart, we see also already a disposition that shows the duration of the sub project. So, of course, now we are going to look what is into module one. For this, I click here, and you see that we find all the tasks that are defined in the other file. We find also the durations, which are reported here, and start and end dates are exactly the same. We notice that the numbering into the master project for each task, which is inserted, is going continuously till the 9 here. This is to start with the module 1 file, and we see that from this point it starts over with the numbering extracted from the external file. I'm now going to insert the module 2 into phase 3. For this, I positioned myself on phase 4 here, and I'm going back into project here up, sub project. I can now pick module 2, and we see that it positioned itself under phase 3. And now what is left to me is to go into task and ident it, that it really stands under phase 3. We can also look at the content of module 2 and we find it here. While I was doing module 2, uh, there was a situation in which I had to do a price analysis. So I'm going to add this as a task directly into the master. And I'm going to call this price analysis. Duration was of one day. And I will say that this task is auto scheduled. We see that this task is here reported. So I will now select all the tasks and I'm going to say that I unlink them and I'm going to sequentially link them all. Like that, it's easier to, to do it in that way. So now we are going to switch to that module and to look what happened in there. So if I'm taking module two here, we first see that we have a new task, which is price analysis here and that our unlinking and relinking happened absolutely normally. So this means that what you do in the master file, you find it absolutely in the sub-project file. And why we could do this, it's because we chose to insert them in the read, uh, modifiable mode and not only read on. Now in this module I had also to do some drawings uh, after the design so I'm going now this time into the sub project to insert a task and I want to see what what happens so I'm entitling these drawings. They will be of course set in auto schedule and the duration of one day is perfect for me. So once again, here I will unlink all the tasks and immediately relink them 
like that it includes that task that I just added right now here the number four so now we are going to look into the master file to see what happened in there so in the master file you see that we have also need to go down and up a task number four which is drawing duration one day and everything has been rescheduled as I did in the end the price analysis is something we didn't do and we didn't need so I'm going now to delete the task directly into the master and we are going to see what happens so I delete the task here and you see that it restructured my schedule and again I'm going to take all the, the task unlink them and then relink them to see what happened and now I'm going to go and to see what happened in the sub project file so I'm going into module 2 here and you see that the price analysis disappeared as task it was deleted and you see that we have the complete reschedule so what is deleted in the master file is also deleted in the sub project file now let's say that the drawings it's about the same but we are going to do it the opposite direction i'm here in the sub project and i'm going to say that this task i'm going to delete the task so once again here you see that we need to reschedule everything so unlink and then link everything we have it here and we are going to see what happened into the master file and you see that drawing has disappeared from the master file and that we have correctly rescheduled so with that you saw it in both directions in the master project here in the timeline you see that we have the master project and we have the first phase which is the basic structure now I want to add for example the first module here also to see it on the baseline so I go here I do add to to the baseline and I have it so now I'm going into that module for example it's the module number one which is here and you see that the baseline there is empty it means that uh, the baseline from a sub project is totally independent from the baseline in a master project and if i want here for example i could say okay it's the research on the market that i want to add to the timeline i can do it and i can say okay i also want to add to the timeline here when we are going to make the proposition document so with this we see that we have two different timelines and the timeline here is really the one from the sub project this is interesting because you can give a global overview of the global project from the timeline into the master field into the master program or master file and here for each module you can have their own timeline where you can show specific events or specific elements you want to communicate on that sub project i'm going to add also the second module here to the the timeline like that we are complete and now we can take a situation where we can say that for example the first module we didn't really need it so we haven't done this and I would like to delete it from the master file so to do that you see that I selected the complete line which entails the link to the file and I'm simply going to say delete the task 
And here, MS Project is warning me that if I continue, it's going to delete all the tasks which are below module one rotating top. Of course, it is what I want to say, but be reassured, it's not going to delete it from the module one file. So I can safely here say, okay. So we see that we have phase one that is still here, which is part of the master project. We see that on the timeline, module one disappeared. So now let's go and see what happened with the file module one. And you were aware, and I think you believe me, module one is still here with its content. So with that, we can delete elements from the master file. We can delete the link to files, but the content of the file is not deleted. Since we removed module one from phase two, it is clear now that module two is becoming the content of phase two. So for that, I'm going simply to slide it up here and we see that the complete content of the file of module two circular so guide is now below phase two and what is left to me is to ident it also once here as we did before and now we have a phase two which is composed of module two in the second part of this video we are going to to see a project which is a bit more complex with all the modules and phases that we are going to insert. You appreciated what I showed to you. I'm looking forward to see you for the continuation of this module or for any other module. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends and questions and comments are really welcome. So see you soon. Bye bye.